You can't defeat what you can't define. You need to recognize the lies that we hear. We need to recognize by discerning and defining those lies so that we can stop, so that we can take them up from the root, remove the lies and replace them with the truth of God's Word. Christianity, it's not about behavior modification. It's not about do's and don'ts, stop doing this, start doing this. No, that's not what we're saying here. Christianity is about life transformation. It's about experiencing continual life change. It's experiencing transformation by the renewing of our minds, by removing the lie at the root and replacing it with truth. That's what we're talking about here today. In our minds, when, when you look at psychology and psychotherapy and we begin studying the brain, and today we know more about the brain than we ever have before. Even in the last decade, we've learned more about the brain than we have in the last hundred years. And our minds are made up of what is called neural pathways, where our brain, what takes place in our brain, where from, from a young age where our, br our brain, when we're born, becomes so malleable and formable, and yet as we mature into our older age, what happens is every time you have a thought, you're creating a new pattern or pathway of thought, almost like a mental trail in your mind. And every time I have that thought and I walk that trail, it's like the trail is becoming deeper and the crevices of that trail, the neural pathways become deeper and deeper where it's easier to think that thing because your experiences or your thoughts, they're wiring and programming your brain. And so our brain, this organ, what happens is you see all the different pathways, the neural pathways and crevices and mental trailways are created by me and you thinking certain thoughts, experiencing certain things and believing with either truth or lies. And the constant repetition of the same thought is creating this new um, pathway in our minds that becomes so natural to us in the way that we think. It forms our entire lives. The more we think a thought, the easier it is to think that thought. If, for example, if when we tried certain something and we failed, therefore, if I try again, I will fail. Therefore, what happens is we create this neural pathway that believes this thought that what it does is it begins to set the premise for truth and what we begin to believe is therefore I do not try this because I will fail. You see what I'm saying? We all do this to every area of our life. Maybe you grew up with a physical attribute such as a protruding nose or big ears or a scar that was visible. And once you heard someone say the comment or say something to you that you were maybe ugly because of this or you're not as pretty because of this. And so what happens is you think that thought every time you look in the mirror. Or you think that thought every time you see a certain picture of yourself. And what happens is that thought begins to form a neural pathway that you begin to believe the truth about. And then when you see you, all you believe is it becomes all you see. These thoughts become dominant thoughts. They become a belief in our mind which is great when we're thinking on truth, but it's completely disastrous and harmful and it breeds destruction in our life when we're believing the lies that is not true. And the good news is, and there is good news here, and this is what I want to talk about, is the good news is that God's word is powerful. The Holy Spirit can empower you to apply his word, to live through his word, not just to help you, but to transform you, to renew your mind. It's 2 Corinthians 10 verse 3 and 4 says, For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. Now this is interesting. What is a stronghold? A stronghold is a wrong pattern or pathway of thinking that's become a dominant thought and therefore something we believe. This is scriptural. This is biblical. How do we win the battle in our mind? Well, verse 5, 2 Corinthians says, we demolish arguments, strongholds, every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Why does this matter? Because every thought matters. And your life is moving in the direction of your strongest 
thoughts. Proverbs 23, 7 says, For as he thinks in his heart, so he is. If you think this about yourself, I am this way, well, what's going to happen? The thought is going to form a belief. The belief is going to become true to us. This truth, which is actually a lie, is going to become a stronghold that holds us back from experiencing what God has for us. And what Scripture is saying here, identify the lie. Rip it up by the root and replace it with God's truth. 